Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the adventures of Eärendil. Now in the proud city of Whiterun, in central Skyrim, he is here seeking rumors about the fabled Labyrinthian, as well as the location of the ancient artifact known as the Akma Infinium. But first things first, he has many things to sell, and new spells and potions to purchase. For things are going to get more difficult going forward. And Eärendil, the High Elven Mage, must be well prepared. I believe we have a shop right here. You are quickly given a cup of warm cider as you enter Tarbin's equipment store, which you accept gratefully. Happy to be inside on such a gloomy winter's day, you look over the weaponry and other merchandise proudly displayed in a case and all along the walls. Okay, now we have much more gold to our name. Perhaps she has heard something interesting. Excuse me, ma'am. Looking for some company, High Elf? You can call me Dora Orison, or anything you want. The only thing I've heard about Labyrinthian came from a traveler from Winterhold. Maybe you should start there. You must know First Planting is coming soon. You know, that's when I might be cured of my social disease at no charge. <laughs> oh, that is excellent. Well, it's funny you should ask about that. The latest news is that something was found near Winterhold. I'd check there for more information. Try an inn, perhaps. You know who Finaster was, don't you? He was a high elf, like yourself, with a marvelous ring that allowed him invulnerability to magic and poison. Rumor is there's a gentleman in the Silver Sword who says he knows how to get to this ring. That is very cool. However, we don't want to pick up any permanent artifact like that until after we've made use of the Ogma Infinium. The gray sky has done little to warm your bones, which by now are almost frozen. You enter the Mage's Guild, stamping your feet to increase the circulation, and crowd close to a brazier that glows hot with fiery coals. As the warmth slowly seeps in, you notice arcane implements and mystical apparatus. You think you feel a strange tingling on your skin. Now let us speak with the local king, or Jarl. Frozen to the core, you stumble into the audience chamber of King Asgis, only to feel a chill that pierces your soul. The room itself is physically warm and pleasing to the eye, but you sense an undercurrent of tension. Interesting. Do not think you are a stranger to me, Eirendil. You could not have picked a better time to pay a social call on our city-state. Not only is it my favorite time of year, the dead of winter, but I have a favor to ask of you. Don't worry, I know better than to ask anything immoral of you just yet. If you would deliver something for me, my coffers are wide open to you. You're brave enough to hear more, are you not? Yes. Would you deliver this scroll to the Dark Brotherhood in the city-state of Rifton? A representative of the Dark Brotherhood will be there to receive it, and reward you with 2,891 gold for your trouble. Rifton lies less than 24 days' journey west from here. You must get this vital information to the Dark Brotherhood's man in Thirsty Dungeon before Sundus 20th of First Sea, or it will be worthless. There are rumors that the Blades will try to stop you. I would not put too much faith in that, for my enemies are many. Be alert at all times for anyone. You would be doing my people a great service. Do you agree? This sounds very unsavory, and so no, I do not agree. You would deny a pleading king a small request such as this? Away with you then, for I have more important matters to consider than some amateur high elf adventurer. Be gone! Huh. Gladly. This Jarl is greatly disappointing. If 
you go south a little, into a little tavern called the King's Sword, you'll find this shady character who says he knows how to find some old relic. The legendary necromancer's amulet or something. Suppose he's telling the truth. The amulet is supposed to regenerate any mage's power, and to give the user protection better than plate mail without the weight. If I had time, I'd be the first in line. I don't know if I believe it, but there's a gentleman in Whiterun who says he knows how to find the magical key of Erovan, the Master Thief. He wants money for the information, a lot of money, but if you'd like to be able to break into anything you might want to head south to the King's Sword and talk to him. The only thing I've heard about Labyrinthian came from a traveler from Winterhold. Maybe you should start there. I've heard about a college in Winterhold. You know that ring? The ring of the Kajiti. That's supposed to turn anyone who wears it invisible. Well, I was talking to a gentleman who's staying just southwest of here, the unfortunate bird, and he says he knows where the ring is. Or maybe he said he knew where to get to the map. A very foggy day today in White Run. Foggy and cold. dog days of winter are certainly here. You enter the Emperor's Supply Store, hoping for a deal or two on a couple essential pieces of equipment. Several things immediately attract your attention as you look over the display case and the assortments along the walls. It would be best for us to get these items repaired. Our steel dagger of agility and silver buckler of willpower. Ten days. stayed in an inn somewhere nearby for 10 days. Ever hear the Staff of Magnus? No offense, very few High Elf kids your age have. What? It's this ancient relic that legend says can absorb a spell cast at it and give the spell's power to whoever holds it. I know someone who knows how to get the staff. I've heard that there's some guy in town who knows the newest whereabouts of one of the surviving relics of the Arch Warlock, Cirabane, a ring or something. So many artifacts, so little time. Order the Knights of Hope. That's worth at least a glance, I suppose. Already you can feel the power of the Order of the Knights of Hope Sanctuary, thawing your frigid body, brightening your spirits which have grown dark as the cloud-filled sky. quickly given a cup of warm cider as you enter. You enter Bargain Supply Store. Outside, the sun is hidden behind a thick gray layer of clouds, dropping the temperature and making your body steam in the warmth of the shopkeeper's hearth. It never ceases to amuse me how much money people will spend to get rich quick. If you want to see what I mean, go north to the Haunted Giants. If he hasn't left yet, there's a man there, willing to tell you how to find King Orgnum's coffer, the key to a lifetime of wealth, for a price. Don't bring any money with you, if you go, or he'll be talking you out of it all. Very interesting. This artifact provides one to a hundred gold once per day. I'm not terribly interested in that, so, um, we'll move on. I am learning now that when you're hunting for one specific artifact, that can get a little bit tedious, so I apologize for that. But uh, surely, before too much longer, we should finally get a rumor about the Agma Infidium.
by the Northern Sea. If you know a mage interested in having his power regenerated, you might want to make a small investment over at the White Sword. That's a tavern north of here. Look for a shady looking chap. You can't miss him and ask him about the Necromancer's Amulet. Heard of it? Well, he'll probably tell you all you need to know. Ever hear the Staff of Magnus? Well, if you're able to spend some gold in order to make a lot of gold, I have a deal for you. I don't care about King Organum's copper. The bright colors of the interior of the Silver Sword add life to the otherwise gray day. Well, we might as well spend ten days here. Wait for our items to get repaired. Let's go ahead and just rest. 240 hours have passed. And that was a good long rest. Now it is a nice clear day, blue skies, sparse clouds, now we can see the distant mountains of Skyrim. Ever hear tale of the arch warlock Cirebane who once saved Skyrim, in fact all of Tamriel, or well, there's a gent over north of the Queen's Griffin who says he knows how to find Cirebane's ring. If he's telling the truth, any amount of gold is worth his information. The Ring of the Warlock has all the defensive power of Cerebane if you can wield it. You know that ring? The Ring of the Kajiti? Okay. Moving on. I keep getting rumors about pretty much every artifact that has rumors available in the Skyrim province other than Ogma and Finian. A bit frustrating, but so it goes. Yeah, this was a little odd. My grandmother told me stories when I was young about a magical key called the Skeleton's Key, with which one could open anything. You enter the Emperor's Tool Store and bring with you a chill spring breeze that ruffles many of the items of interest hanging on the walls. Ooh, adamantium dagger. Well, for now, no thanks. Which job do you wish to inspect? Silver buckler, please. Silver buckler is ready. Steel dagger. Ready. So now we can re-equip those. Beautiful, beautiful. And let us continue. Now at this point, Arendil feels that he's done enough investigating of rumors available in the city of Whiterun, so let's move on to Winterhold. Let travelers find warmth within our walls, let challengers find us worthy. It is a cold and snowy night in the famous city of Winterhold, currently much larger than what we see later in the game Skyrim. Sylvain and her feeble powers are no protection for you. 
I should have discorporated her when I got the chance. I will not make the same mistake again. I will use the same dream bridge that she uses, sending my minions across time and space. Already they arrive. Ones worthy of the attention you deserve. They will relieve you of the burden of the star piece you now hold. Give it to them, and I will order your death painless and quick. Resist, and I shall see you in such suffering that you will grovel for the sweet release of death. Hmm. Now there's a proper fantasy villain. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, dispense with his minions he has sent our way. Quite troubling that he is now very much aware of our presence and is able to sense us over great distances and send his goons to us over those same distances. Not good at all. But at least Erendil is good at defending himself. We know many more spells now than we did before. Let's go ahead and see if we can cast Force Wall. Beautiful. It's a more powerful version of the shield spell. Pardon me, madam. The name's Storna Fenrodson. If you really want to know it, most guys don't care. Heard any rumors? Some guy was here last week trying to sell information about the Ring of Finaster. Where's the nearest inn? Southwest of here. Heard any other interesting rumors? I can't believe it's time for Jester's Day. You know, that's Morndis, 28th of Rain's Hand. One holiday too vulgar to be believed, in my opinion. Just more rumors about the Ring of Finaster, this time from a man to the southwest at the Thirsty Tide, actually. Chap says he'll tell you exactly how to get the ring if the price is right. Not for me, High Elf. I don't need total invulnerability to magic and poison. Alright. Well, take care. And we will head southwest. Hopefully without too many more threats to our life along the way. Good old winter hold. Still no sign of an inn. But sooner or later we should find one. And we'll do a bit more asking for rumors about artifacts, but if we don't hear anything about the Agma Infinium within a reasonable amount of time, then of course we can continue to pursue rumors about the Labyrinthian instead. Uh-oh. A spider. Hard to say whether this is a natural pest or one sent by our enemy, Jagar Tharn. Certainly, Skyrim is known to have giant spiders here and there.
We're still shielded, so we don't have too much to worry about. Excuse me, good jester. Who are you? Hello, I'm Horny. Whoops, I mean I'm Randy. No, seriously. I'm Harold Kjarikson. You can see how I got it confused. What can I do for you, my sweet high elf? By the way, what a high elf lacks in intelligence, he makes up for in stupidity. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Heard any rumors? Where's the nearest inn? I'd look southwest of here. Uh oh. Lizard man. You picked on the wrong elf. On we go into the drifting snow. There's a temple. Uh oh. And oh my, we have a zombie. Let's also cast Light Heal just to be safe. Be gone with you, foul zombie. Who raised you from the dead? Diseased? No. That's not good. But at least we're here in a town where we can get healed up pretty quick. One hour later. Come on, this zombie must be close to death. Didn't realize zombies were so tough in this game. You were a fool to confront me, and now have paid the ultimate price. Even now, my servants go to fetch your mortal heart. You will serve me well through my years as emperor, once I have made you undead. Perhaps I will even let you retain some of your memories. So that the price of your failure has meaning to you. Thank you, that's so nice of you. So let's check out... Where was I with this save? I had just... Defeated... Something. Yeah, spider. Hello again. I remember speaking with you. Harald Kjarikson. <laughs> and you told me the nearest inn was southwest? Right. Any rumors? Eh. High time we simply found an inn and got a good night's rest. So, what do we have here? Silver Port. Looks like a very small building from the outside. How about on the inside? It is a cool spring night outside, but you have no need to seek out the fireplace on entering the Silver Port. The tobacco smoke and smell of new bread trickles out the open windows. And of course, it's enormous on the inside. But hey, who cares? Let's chat with some of the local folk. Hi there, madam. The bartender will be more than happy to help you. Just move along now. Well, fine, be that way. How about you? You in the mood for a chat. I'm here to drink. If you want to do business, talk to the bartender. And you, sir? 
looks like they'll let anyone into the Silver Port these days. Friendly folk, these. Okay. Excuse me. Heard any interesting rumors? Well, I'd like to get a room. But, uh, first I will buy a little something to drink. Oh, a little bit of cider sounds good. You finished the cider, thankful for a safe haven. One day, please. Eight gold sounds more fair. Eight thirty-five in the morning, that is perfect. Not a bad little room they gave me here. Even if it does seem to also be used to uh, house some other kegs of ale and so forth. Perhaps that's a perk, actually. Oh, foggy, snowy day. Well, at least we get to hear this glorious snow music. This city-state's getting crazier and crazier, that's what's up. For example, you know the gold chest just southeast of here? Perfectly respectable tavern, but apparently some lunatic is hanging around there, bothering everyone, telling them he knows how to find the Staff of Magnus. He should know anyone who's ever heard of the Staff is too senile to go after it anyhow. I heard that knights out of the Fortress of Ice rode into town last week and attacked the Mages Guild in search of a map to the Labyrinthian. Check out the Guild, they may be able to help you. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, cool. You enter the city-state tool store, hoping that the sun will show itself again. There are many items of interest hanging on the walls and displayed in the display case in front of you. There is a window open in Elite Supply Store. The clerks are apparently hoping for some fresh scents of spring air to brighten a grey day. Some chap southeast of here in the Laughing Serpent is making a profit that would make King Organum himself proud. He says he knows where Organum's magical coffer is, but he needs several hundred gold pieces to say. Despicable in my opinion. I've heard that there's some guy in town who knows the newest whereabouts of one of the surviving relics of the Arch Warlock Syravain. You enter the Mage's Guild from the gloomy spring day and are struck by the clutter. You know that wizardry is a mental art. It is hard to believe the sorcerers behind this jumble of items and apparatus are not either madmen or fools. You can definitely hear small living things move about in the piles. Interesting. So apparently, here in the College of Winterhold, the mages are being rather careless of late. Excuse me, do you know who's responsible for all this mess? Welcome, Mayor Rendil, to Winterhold. I trust that the weather has not affected you adversely? Well, it has come to my attention that there have been certain inquiries about the Labyrinthian. My name is Thelen Carr, and I find this quite interesting. Few have sought out this legendary place. Many less have found it. Perhaps we can do each other a favor. Allow me to explain. A few days ago, knights from the Fortress of Ice attacked a small caravan destined for our guild. This caravan was to deliver to us an object of unimaginable importance. A missing tablet that would help decipher a part of the Elder Scrolls. This piece completed a map to the Labyrinthian. No doubt the knights returned with their booty to the fortress and are by now deeply ensconced within its walls. We could not hope to get in there and recover that tablet piece. We are not prepared for such an endeavor. If you would agree to attempt this, I would gladly tell you the location of the Labyrinthian. All I need is the missing piece to solve the puzzle. 
Will you agree to help us? <laughs> wow, what a convenient, contrived story. Okay, sure, yes. I am pleased to see that you do not shy from danger. Enough talk then. Here is the location of the Fortress of Ice. When you have the missing piece, return here with it, and I will share with you the location of the Labyrinthian. Theldon gestures once, and the location of the Fortress of Ice is magically inscribed onto your map. We'll make a brief visit to the palace, asking just a bit more for rumors along the way. I do feel as though I recall hearing that it's good to ask for rumors in the Imperial City, because I think in the Imperial City you have a chance of getting rumors about any of the artifacts. interesting waters of the port of Winterhold, here in the far, far north. Frigid waters, I'm sure. A bit odd that they should have this in the south instead of the north, but you know, we can overlook some minor flaws like that, and uh, that could still be accurate depending on how you interpret the way this city might be situated on some kind of outcropping of land, some sort of peninsula. Can't say I've ever heard of him, but some guy named Finemaster apparently lost his ring and another guy northwest of here in the Silver Port knows how to get it back. Conclave of the One you enter the conclave of the one, wishing that the sun would return and make the day a truly pleasant one. You can hear chanting in the distance. By the beard of Thorig, if you know a mage interested in having his power regenerated, you might want to make a small investment over at the Laughing Dagger. I mean, honestly, I'm starting to wonder if the information online about Skyrim being one of the places where you can find the Agma Infinium, that that information might be incorrect. We've been getting multiple rumors about other artifacts, none yet about the Agma Infinium. It is a little bit frustrating, so much so that we could use some of the calmness of a temple. You enter the Brotherhood of Charity, gray as this spring day sky. Almost immediately, the bittersweet smell of the incense strengthens your spirit. The clergy drone their prayers far off in the distance. You walk into the King's audience chamber, noticing the many fine trappings and expensive furniture that decorate the area. The day has been overcast, iron-gray clouds that hint of a spring storm. 
you find yourself welcoming the sun's return. Ahead of you awaits Ararna, king or Jarl of Winterhold. It is well known that Winterhold is currently at peace with its neighbor, Windhelm. Interesting statues. I wonder if they're meant to look magically enchanted, or as if fountain water is perhaps pouring out from their top. Hard to say. Good day to you, Jarl. I welcome you to my city-state. Your arrival is fortuitous, for I have a favor to ask. If you would rescue someone for me, I would be happy to reward you in gold. Would you be interested in hearing more? Yes. Jaita Aronson, my youngest sister, missing for days, has finally been located in the infernal pit of Beast's catacombs to the east. I think she is the prisoner of the Thieves' Guild there. I need you to use your every talent to complete the rescue by Mordus, 28th of Last Seed. After that, I will send someone else, and your reward of 2,565 gold will be forfeit. I take it you realize the strength of the Thieves' Guild, and will not accept this quest unless you feel you are capable. Are you the person for this quest? You know what? This sounds like something that is worthy of Arendil's time. So he'll go ahead and say yes. Excellent. I've inscribed the location of the place on your map of Tamdiel. Use that to guide you. Good luck to you, Eorendil. May your mission be a success. Okay. Can we speak with him more? Welcome to Winterhold, Eorendil. Please treat yourself to our city-state's many pleasures. Our taverns are a particular delight. The best mutton pie in the province. Now I regret I must dismiss you. Very well. Good day to you and to your guards. And your court jester. So at this point, we have both the Fortress of Ice and Issa's Catacombs marked on our map. So here we are in these strange catacombs. We feel it would be best to go ahead and uh, complete this Jarl's request, since it was an honorable one, and Eärendil always has an interest in increasing his reputation among nobility and royalty. Lizard Man. Hopefully we will not face any enemies that are overly difficult here. This should be a relatively quick quest to complete. And then, since it has been very frustrating trying to find rumors about the Agma Infinium, we might once again give up on that and continue with the main quest by going to the Ice Fortress after this. But at least this experience will allow us to build up a little more experience and gain some more items, and perhaps more spells. Before we move on to more difficult tasks. I do believe I hear the moaning of minotaurs. We 
interesting map. Okay. This type of dungeon, created on the fly for a randomized quest, is, I believe, completely procedurally generated, as many things are in this game. It's possible that even some of the main quest dungeons might have been partially procedurally generated initially. But they all clearly had at least some parts, if not the whole thing, specially designed by hand. What Arendel really needs is more spell points, higher stats in general. I mean, that's part of the reason why we were really hoping to get the Ogma Infinium. But if we can level up, that helps too. As I said earlier, it might be the case that asking around in the Imperial City might be a good idea. I seem to recall reading hints about that online, but that for some reason might be a good place to ask for the Ogma Infinium rumors. You are attacked by a Nightblade, obviously sent from the Thieves' Guild. Negotiation is not the Nightblade's style. It appears there are other plans for you. Well, that's not good. Where are you? Where are you, Nightblade? Show yourself. We'll cast a light spell. You cannot hide from us, Nightblade. Where are you? Save again here. Interesting that we got that message, and yet did not seem to have an enemy right near us. It must have spawned somewhere somewhat near, but with a wall separating us. doors so far. So, further down we go. You sense the Lich is nearby. Lich? I don't recall anything about a Lich. That is more than I bargained for. Definitely saving again. Is all this. We had one message about a night blade, now a message about a lich. Things escalated quickly. What was the story here again? That Jaita Aronson, the king's youngest sister, was imprisoned in the Bisa's catacombs. Well, I guess because it's a catacombs, we shouldn't be too surprised that there could be some powerful undead here. We might really regret taking this quest. Okay, here's hoping for the best. There are some waterways we can take.
bridge is regenerating. Okay. And it just killed me. You were a fool to confront me, and now have paid the ultimate price. All right. Well, I don't think I'd even caught a glimpse of the lid yet. And yet it was able to kill me with one single attack. That is not a good sign. Where could this poor young woman be? And is she even still alive? Let's go ahead. Well, we won't bother casting spell shields until we sense the Lich is truly close by. I guess we could cast invisibility. Presumably the Lich would not be able to see us, despite its immense powers. Let's give that a go. Hopefully hearing our footsteps will not be enough to alert anyone to our presence. That should be her. And there's the lich. Oh, now it sees us. Ooh, this is bad. Okay. okay. Let's get over here. one kill a lich. I'm going to do a little bit of research because it's possible that a lich might require special materials or effects to kill them. From the unofficial Elder Scrolls pages, these creatures are wizards who have attempted to cheat death by prolonging their life through the use of spells and such, eventually turning themselves into a form of the undead. Few have ever faced such a creature and lived to tell the tale. It is known that they are very powerful able to defeat high-level characters easily, and able to see the invisible. Well, there we go. They are known to have immunity to weapons below Mithril, oh no, regeneration capabilities, and any other powers that would be associated with a 20th plus level mage. You are cautioned, these creatures are beings of such power that it would be foolhardy to face one without properly preparing yourself with powerful equipment or artifacts. Notes. The strongest monster of the game, second only to Jagar Tharn himself, they cast a powerful ranged electrical spell. Yes, so I noticed. It also says they don't leave a corpse, but there is still a chance of leaving loot behind. Well, anyway. This is not very encouraging. Not very encouraging at all. We'll cast... well, hold on. So we're invisible, healthy, unshielded. We're going to cast Force Fall. And then, ideally, I would like a place to rest. I don't know if it's safe anywhere here. Let's see what kind of amulet we just picked up. Minus 5 to AR, that's what we already have, so it would be a good thing to sell in any case. Um, so we're getting rested. Nice. Go ahead and save here. Fairly soon, we will cast some resistance to shock, spell shield, things like that. Do 
which is regenerating. Oh boy. This is not good at all. Is this shock? And spell shield. I'm not going to attempt to defeat this lich. My only hope is to maybe be able to jump over there, grab the missing person, and escape somehow with my life. Don't know how likely that is. Oh, come on. Come on, why are the jumping controls being weird? Okay, whatever. You know what? We're just gonna do this. And that did not you work are out. A fool to confront me. Perhaps. Okay. I do also have... Oh! How did you come over here? How did you come over here? Oh my goodness. This lich seems to be able to pass through walls. And I was going to say we do also have a pass wall spell. It doesn't let us pass through walls, but it lets us destroy them. So that could come in handy at some point. Hello! So we found her. Oh, did we get her? By the Cliffs of Solitude, a rescuer from King Arani. Hurry, I must be home in Winterhold by morn just 28th of Lost Seed. Well, you know what? I think you should just be happy to get out of here alive at all. But, uh, fair enough. Let's go ahead and... Let's cast... Some Light Heal. Come on. Come on. The jumping controls are so janky in this game. It's very frustrating. And there we have some funny audio issues, okay. Okay, we'll try this again. Come on, Lich. Come on, Lichy, Lichy, Lich. Tell you what. Let's get rid of some of these walls. This is not going well. <laughs> okay, okay. Fall. Let's get rid of that and that. Makes things a little bit simpler in a way. <laughs> One more wall for good measure. And now. Can we rest again? Not bad. Get some resist shot. Come on, I can't I talk to you. Come on. Oh, you horrible lich. <laughs> you were a fool to confront me, and now have paid the ultimate price. All right, all right. Uh, I should have saved again. still destroy one wall. Okay, there we go. Um, I wish more games had spells like this. 
let's go ahead and go up here. Cast resist shock. Save again. Go for it. Nope. 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 Come on, that's gonna get you to move a little bit more. So we're still resistant to shock. Excuse me. Mother of the Ice, a rescuer from King Nararnik. Hurry, I must be home in Winterhold by morn this 28th of Lost Seed. Okay, well, let's uh, let's do what we can. Oh, come on. These horrible jumping mechanics, they're going to be the death of me. Oh, this is awful. We might be able to pull this off, though. Try to be a little more careful with handling the jumps, and then this might not be a problem. Oh, that wasn't good enough. By the Northern Sea, a rescuer from King Arani. Oh. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh my goodness, we might actually succeed. This is beautiful. Check our map. Okay, so... Hmm, this might be just a little bit tricky. I'm going to go south a bit more. Let's cast a light spell. So we can better see where we're going. And... going to try to completely avoid that area where we know the lich hangs out. And let's take advantage of Pass Wall once again. And up we go. You sense the witch is nearby. Well, hopefully no longer. just need to head east. Oh, I should have kept my pass wall active instead of using it in those silly ways. But oh well. Oh, skeleton. Shield. Do an extra save just in case. What do you think of this mechanic, by the way, of having someone you're escorting be represented just by a little image of their head up in the corner, you know, instead of having them actually follow you? It's certainly more convenient in a lot of ways and kind of safer. You don't have to worry about the NPC dying or getting stuck or blocking your way or anything like that. So in many ways, I like it. It kind of simplifies things. We are still shielded. I might risk getting a bit of rest. Spider. A long 
came a spider when I wanted a cider. Crystal Fusion Show. Find a better place to rest. Someone's casting spells. Who would that be? Who would dare? Do a spell sword. Let's use crystal healing and a couple of potions of restored power. So we can once again cast shield. Perhaps we can rest here. The thief before you is sent by the Thieves' Guild. There's no announcement of intentions. Allegiance to the Thieves' Guild shines in the eyes. I wonder if we'll actually see this one. And I wonder why the Thieves' Guild wanted to kidnap this poor woman and bring her to a lich. Was it just for money? Is there anything more complex going on here? Hard to say. But the idea of the Thieves' Guild having allegiances to a lich is a little bit odd. Quite mysterious indeed. Is the thief. There you are. You have chosen the wrong friends, my dear thief. Also cast light heal. There we go. And we still have some shielding. Not too shabby. Let's have some more fun with Passwall. Not enough spell points, never mind. Hmm, a ring. Not bad. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here. 
head back to that yarrow of winter home. We welcome you to Winterhold. Let travelers find warmth within our walls. Let challengers find us worthy. Ah, the person behind you shows up in front of you somehow. Very interesting. The government of Winterhold is like the weather outside, cold and unforgiving. In the audience chamber of King Ararni, no one even whispers their theories about the ulterior motives behind the city-state's recent declaration of peace with its neighbor, Windhelm. Well, hopefully hearts will be warmed by at least the good news of the return of the Jarl's younger sister. Hello again, good Jarl. I have returned successfully, both of us barely escaping death at the hands of a lich. My heart is full of gratitude to you. I feared I would never see my youngest sister again. In addition to your reward of 2,565 gold, a very specific amount I must say, I have ordered my scribes to write you into the tomes of Winterhold, so you will never be forgotten. Bless you. Good high elf. Beautiful. And I believe that will do it for today's adventures, in fact. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more, and consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drink. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, be healthy, do good, take excellent care of yourself and everyone around you. <laughs>